It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. No, it's working. He's oh. working, people. He's hey. two timing us with his real job. <laughs> this is not. This is the MacBook. This is not the. Uh... Uh, he's had a haircut. Skin fade is what they he's, call it. He's had a fade. Uh -huh. or, or as I call it, Michael's head. <laughs> Oof. Right. Fucking Michael. Who's Michael? Who's Michael? I, I say that sometimes. I think, oh, that's that's my real name. That's my that's my uh, that's my stage that's my stage name. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another special show of Dads, Lads, and Kebabs. Why is today's space today special? Mickey is fifty-five. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Michael. Me. Michael, Happy yeah. Thursday, dear Michael. What's your middle name? John. Michael John York. That is such a religious name, isn't it? Michael and John. Yeah, don't don't full name me. You're not my, my real dad. Michael John. <laughs> Michael John York. He sounds like a bit like a serial killer. Being totally honest with you, mate. I am. Mickey John. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Mickey. Johnny Mickey. Johnny. I'm going to call you Johnny from now on. Uh, all right, James. Uh, Jay, I like James. Anyway, sir, happy <laughs> birthday. Thank happy you. Happy birthday for today. Many happy returns. And can we just say, people, that these are some of the facts. In 1979, when Michael was born, these are some of the news articles from that day. Ooh. The Pope calls for peace in Ireland. Anti-racist tackle in South African rug rugby tourist. South Korean president was killed. Chairman Hewer arrives in London. Militants storm the U.S. embassy in Tehran. That's it. Wow, busy it's, day. It's, a lot went on on that day. Yeah. Right, so much, so, and it's all bad shit. I was covered in gunk on a table somewhere. It's just... <laughs> Just pure shit. <laughs> Dripping. Yeah, mate. mate, you come out to wars and peace protests and militants storm the USA. Time to, to be, return. To be fair, it doesn't surprise you how it turned out, really. Mob destroys the US embassy in Pakistan. Um, daredevil kid 80-foot river jump. There you go. Council tenants will have right to buy their own houses. That was to happen in 1979. Yeah. Europe launches its first ever rocket. Tay Bridge rail disaster remembered. That was oh. remembered. So it didn't happen. Oh, that didn't happen. No. Um, price of milk shot up. Cool. In 1979, um, leaders agree to arms reduction treaty. I like that. So, Queen oversees Max, Max Million. Brighton bears all. There was a naked uh, run on Brighton Beach. Oh, nice. And a shitload of IRA stuff in your time. <sighs> no. I grew up in Ireland, so that's probably why. I grew up on the black streets of Belfast. Oh, I did there, boys. <laughs> I was one of the militants out on the roads. No. In my nappy. <laughs> Crying. Do you, feel, do, you, do you feel older today? You're the third person to ask me that today. No. I okay, just feel like... Right. I just... I'll ask a different question. Oh, no, I'm just I'm just letting you know. I Did have... You, get a... you still get a semi in the morning? Do you have to what give for... it a whack for us? What, for, my, for my birthday? <laughs> yeah. Did you wake up and be like, shit, still works? <laughs> no, but randomly in the middle of the night, like three in the morning, you think, fuck's sake, push it down. Push it down. <laughs> Bend so the legs. Took it in the waistband. No, no, when I go to the toilet, I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, it's the worst, isn't it? Because when you try and go for a piss and it starts going in that direction instead of that direction. Yeah, you have, you have to bend down, do squat forward. <laughs> lean. Like... Hands on the wall, just lean. We need, we need, yeah, we need to make a device for 
morning. It should be. It should just morning be two glory. <laughs> two handrails on the toilet where you just lean, and two foot, you know, like foot pedals that are leaning like arch ninety degrees. Yeah, so you lean forward. Yeah, but you could have like a, a pipe that goes on it, so it aims in the toilet. So it doesn't matter what angle you are, just go straight in. <laughs> Perfect. There you go, Amazon. Although, if, if you want to buy it, let us know with the it, handles. It's going to expire soon with you. Soon you're not going to have that problem. No, soon no. it's going to be. Soon it's just going to be like smelling old man piss. It's going to be like cloudy yellow. <laughs> so like, Nile's got all this to come. I know. I'm not. Like, I am not. I hate the thought. I mean, I hate the thought of being an ageist because, do you know what? That's the that's the worst thing. that's inevitable, right? It's the fact that you never thought you was going to get to the age you are now. Do you, okay, let me ask you a different question. I said, do you feel older? But in yourself, do you feel the age that you are mentally? Not mentally. Not because... I'm I'm still a little fucking dickhead. Yeah, I love that. That's me. So. But my age, when I hit 40, it all went downhill. I noticed the aches were lasting longer. And I was more tired all the time. And, yeah. So, yeah. But you you are really active, though. If you think about it. Oh, well, job, no. Yeah, I'm very busy, your, yeah. Your, your, your hobbies, you walk miles and miles daily. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you go out hunting most weekends. Mm. You're more. You're probably more physical now than you was when you were early twenties. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because before it was just, it was just the gym that I was active in, mm. and for an hour and a half a day, how many times a week? Like three times if I was lucky. Mm. You know, that's compared with now. That's nothing. So exactly, you get yeah. more your, you get your work de- you get your workout technically done before most people have finished their morning coffee. You know what I mean? You're up early, you're out, you're fucking starting straight away. If we've got a busy day, I've done 10,000 steps by like half nine. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you, that's what I mean. You're doing people's daily goals before mm. they fucking even started. Yeah. Did you get anything nice for your birthday, sir? I did. I got a few nice cards. That was good. I got some money. I got... You got money, you got money at 45. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I, got, I got the Zosh. <laughs> Did you get coins um, taped, taped into a car? <laughs> on cardboard or sellotape? No. I used to, yeah, from Milan and that. Uh, I got some, loads of Bueno chocolates. Oh. Uh, Ferrero Rocher's. Uh, I got a pumpkin spice latte. No. No, that's a drink. Pumpkin spice candle for my room. This is what I love about autumn, yeah? Autumn, you have beanies, hoodies, coats. Coats pumpkin candles in your bedroom and fleece bedding on your bed that is all to come people there is all nothing yeah there is nothing wrong honestly oh. there's nothing wrong with being a mature man liking a scented candle i'm sorry there oh isn't. no fucking love it love it oh it, people would say that the, the majority of people out there would say there's a problem with you but i there's nothing more that I'm, i like than a blanket a good set of slippers and a nice candle and a film no Definitely not. I fucking love my slippers. I ain't got mine on. I was going to put them on as well. Got my, got my got Crocs, furry Crocs slippers. The day they they were released, I wish I didn't really buy them because they were forty pound and they're only slippers. But you know, yeah, I'll get wear out of them now. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing my slippers into the ground. Bear in mind, I bought my slippers two years ago, and now. People are just buying them now. I bought them uh, when they were cheap. Oh, uh, your Ugg ones, aren't they? Yeah, I bought them. When they, I bought them when people didn't even like. Yeah, my Ugg ones. Yeah, I bought them when people didn't even like them. I remember now, Dapper Laughs had a pair of them many years ago. Yeah, a few years ago. Because I put, ooh, so I didn't know they did men stuff. They do. Wait, yeah, oh. he's going. He's, he's going to get them. He is. He is. Why not, people? I don't know where they are. They're yeah. not where I leave them. Yeah. I also got Costa gift cards, which is standard. I love that. Costa gift cards. Yeah. Standard. I also got... I got something off my youngest son. Fucking brilliant. I'll go get it. Here we go. The anticipation. Look at him. Moving like an old man. Hunched over. Looking like Quasimodo. Here he goes. What's he got? Oh, 
mate, I've, I've seen a bit of a corner of an ear. Is it, like Mog- is it Mogwai? No. No. Oh, that's weird. That is pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Is it chocolate? No. It's metal. No, it's like ceramic. Oh, it's ceramic. Clay, I suppose, yeah. And uh, I said to him, that's pretty cool. I said, because he's been in Spain recently on holiday. Obviously, yeah. we know that because I picked him up from camp yes. so that he could go on holiday. And he said, no, I didn't get it in Spain. I found it near the, near the hospital. <laughs> it was on a tree. <laughs> I'm like, cheers, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Really? No. <laughs> That's some like cursed object. <laughs> you've got some weird cursed object. That, you've got you. That could be like a famous relic. The fucking <laughs> well, your local of... <laughs> local area. Fuck it. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's like a tracking device inside it, and they're gonna come and find me. To be honest, that's like when people used to take out traffic cones. You know, yeah. what was the point of that? I used to use them for football, for goals, when I used to play football in the street. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we used to nick them for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were perfect for that. Same as when they used to leave, you know, the... Was it the blue pipe in for water? They used to leave that out. We used to make a goal out of that. At the top, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just with the framework out of the goal. So, Mickey boy, did you get any posts today? I did. I got posts. Did it arrive? I got po- I got post this evening. This evening at like fucking seven o'clock. Royal Mail, fucking Robin bastard, to tell you. Post office scandal. So, firstly, was it was not an Amazon parcel, no? No. Because uh, sometimes they use Royal Mail. I was just asking. Also, I I was in post office the other day posting some DVDs that I sold, Ricky Gervais DVDs. Listen, he sells DVDs. Me, I, I, I still got loads. I'm selling them all on eBay. I sold loads, mate. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I sold the, the four, three DVDs for £1.50, yeah? I have a guess how much the post is yours. Nine quid. Second class sign for £5.9p. <laughs> Someone paid. So you made no money. You made no money. No, I did. Oh, they paid postage. They paid postage. Yeah, See, yeah, maybe yeah. That, maybe that guy wasn't ripping you off then. Well, no, that's how much it costs. I can't help. That's the set price for sign for. It's on the on the label, five pound nine b, because it's tracked. You see, but anyway, that's not the, the point. I looked behind the counter, and it says Royal Mail twenty four and forty eight hour tracked postage is not the correct time. So it's not twenty four hours, and it's not forty eight hours. And I thought, well, I fucking know that. I waited seven days for the last parcel instead of two days and i've had that before so anyone listening who uses royal mail tracked do not use it just use signed for i'm sure the people would rather have their parcel and pay an extra two pound you know than wait fucking six days no just just it's it doesn't stupid. come when it, it doesn't come when i've paid for loads of stuff next day and it's never turned up till about three four days later yeah special delivery is good the one o'clock one but DPD, look, DPD next day delivery normally works for me if I if I really need it. Yeah, I don't know how to use all these parcel companies, though. I just go post office normally. Well, I use every quite a lot now, and I use in post. I know the lockers, they're quite easy. Uh, but they work quite well. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. But yeah, yeah. fuck me. What's, what was I going to say to you about fucking. You were just talking about your parcels and Royal Mail. Oh, DVDs. DVDs. Before you open yeah. your parcel. Yeah. Have you got have you got a copy of Twenty Eight Days Later on DVD? No. What the film where he eats his foot? Yeah. No. no I've never seen that. No, I haven't got Apparently, that. Apparently, so a, co- a copy of Twenty Eight Days Later. They go for like a few hundred quid now. You Why? can't buy them. I don't know. I'm sure they're on eBay. I'm sure they will. But I bet if you have a look, people are charging money for them. Because it's not on any streaming platforms. Twenty Eight Days Later. They made a second one, didn't they? 28 years later. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's have a look. Good old Google, eh? Later Good DLA. 799. One, 28 weeks later. It's days later is the first one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, with the red the red horn one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, seven nine. I, I read somewhere they're quite they're worth quite a lot. Seven ninety nine, one ninety nine. They're not five. They're not worth that. two pound forty nine. There you go. Okay. So it's don't believe that. Nine nine p. It's a hoax. Put all your copies back, people. It's a hoax. <laughs> Yeah, don't buy them from CEX. That's what it is, CEX. It's like going mad on. Do you remember that yeah. they got a game in the window? It's like 350 quid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good. Go on, Mickey. You can open your gift now. Do you know what? I was thinking, yeah, because on, on the parcel, you put your name instead of mine. And if I wasn't home this evening to get it, or if they post delivered it this it's... morning, I couldn't have picked it up. Because it's not look, my name. Look, look closely. Is it? Is it? It says your name and then my address. And oh. I thought that's really clever because the little card they left yesterday said Nile on it, and I'm like, what a bell end. <laughs> See, know, I changed the name. To go there. I did, Joe. You, you might be get, you might get some good in this. Then you might get yourself like a PS5 in it. It might not be the right parcel. It's not your porn. It's in a dodgy. It's in a... Don't do that. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like bottles. <laughs> sounds like you have to blow it up. <laughs> well, I like them ones. Similar. Oh, you one of them. You open it with grace. You're a graceful opener. Oh wow! You got me a deal, though. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ah, oh, cool, man. Nice labels. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that, people. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, mate. Wait, do you have one? No. Okay, so well, I'll tell you. In theory, I had one many years ago, but I don't know where it is. Since I'm so, the reason why I got this one, because I was going to get you something else. So, I was going to get you something called, I think it's called a TENS machine for your, but it's designed, it's a machine that goes, you put it in your hand here, but it's designed for your elbow. Oh, wow. I so, didn't, didn't they get so, them for that? So, it's called, oh, oh, wait, what is it called? One sec. Tell you what it's called. What the no pain thing? Yeah, I have one of them. No, it's a tennis elbow. Oh, it's a little nice little box. Look at that. Body tech. It's called. A, it's called the machine I was looking at. is called a tennies. Okay. So it's called a ten. A ten. Yeah. So ten and then ease. And basically, it's like a vibe. It's looks it's a vibrating device that you hold in your hand and it shoots like basically electro electro whatever yeah it, block, it blocks the messages to the brain saying that it's in pain oh, that right however <clears throat> everything i said said there's if you get the blade attachment that's with this device there should be one that looks a bit like a knife like a bit like a, a bit like a chisel not not yeah that one as well as there's that one that goes on your arm mm -hmm. and then there's that's it, that's it. This is it, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, if you put that here <laughs> on, your, on your on your elbow, that fucking hurt, uh, isn't it? No, no, no. Apparently, no? if you do it for a few minutes in the evening, is that for the women? You know, one in the front, one you, in the back. That's the, yeah, yeah. One in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> stink. <laughs> but that's a nub it. These are the best things apparently for tennis because you don't actually have a tennis elbow, do you? No, I've damaged all my tendons. Yeah. Yeah. And this was this device. Ooh, <laughs> that's a probe. That's a little. It's a little probe, isn't it? I've had shits bigger than that. That's a, that's a little <laughs> bullet, isn't it? I've seen women use them. Fuck yes. <laughs> is it. Is, have you switched it on? I don't know, fucking switch it on. It's got like a big, it should have a screen on that one, shouldn't it? Oh, underneath. What? Is it... Oh, yeah, look. Dun, dun, dun. What should we put on? 
I would, yeah, I would try. Do you know the oval shaped one? Put that one over your arm. Now that one. Yeah, yeah. Clip it in. Let's watch M Mickey Jizz live on fucking cam. <laughs> No. Oh, mate. That's oh, I, like see. I can see it pulsing. All right, put it on your arm. Oh. It's nice on the muscle, yeah, not so much the bone. Hello. Yeah, no, it's not designed for bone, though, is it? It's designed to oh. vibrate the tissue. Oh, it's like a sex show. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR people. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna that's have to like. That's pretty nice, you know. That that is. Oh, that's good there. That's good in the crevice. Oh. This, yeah. This is why I bullet. Cause <laughs> these. This is the only one I found with the, the specially oh. designed attachments for your elbow joints and your your wrist joints as well, apparently. Can you hear the behind? <laughs> Ow! That's fucking good, man. Oh, that's on four speed. And it's got 60 on there as well. I presume that's like... Seconds minutes maybe. left. No, minutes yeah. probably left of battery, like power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my razor for my head does that. Tells me how much is left. But maybe this will help the old... Grave digger elbow. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with a grave digger elbow. That sounds good. Grave Better digger tennis, elbow. Oh. It sounds a bit more legit, doesn't it? Like, call this the old, the old grave digger slicker. <laughs> oh. Brilliant people. That's this is the night show. That's <laughs> Thank you. I love that. You're welcome, mate. Listen, it might help with the old dodgy elbow and a bit of after after work pain. I might get you through another sort of ten years. It might do. Oh yeah, there's some instructions there. Oh yeah. Study them long and hard, mate. Has it, has it got has it got names for the the bits on there? Oh here we go. So we have Number, we've got the fork, the one that looks like a fork. So the, the woman one. Yeah. yeah. That's the fork. Then we've got large round, obviously. The ball. Yeah. The ball, yeah. Then we have a flushing one, which is six. So the chisel end is the flushing. Yeah. Don't see how that's a flushing. Uh, we have a flat, which is seven. Oh, the little nubbin. The little round. And then we have number eight is curved. Oh, that's the one that's on there that I just used on my elbow. And then we have finger point, which is number nine, which is not a finger. That's a little butt plug. So, is this the butt plug? Is this the butt plug? Oh, it tells you how to use it on, off. Yeah. Do not. That's not anywhere near your anal passage <laughs> display intensity once 13 yep 14 that's the battery indicator yeah 0 to 99 15 is up and down cool let's charge it thank you no that's brilliant man You're i love pra i love practical gifts i don't like other gifts anymore when you get old Practical, you want practical gifts. Ah, uh, the this way forward. It. I love it. I love it when I get some practical because it's kind of like oh, turn off. Well, I get this. I've got a leaf blower. I've got. A, I know. Yeah, I've got the leaf blower and the uh, the artificial grass brush. Yeah, yeah, the rotating one, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. Practical gifts the way forward because you're getting something that you're going to get some use out of. Exactly. You do, you do a few minutes a night when you get in from work. That might save that elbow for another few years. Yeah. So I'm just, <clears throat> just going to try something. Wait there. Well, not try it, but. So, obviously, we had issues with our TikTok channel 
because yeah. ever since we got you got banned for having fridge water in your fridge yeah all the all the videos i put up afterwards were getting like 30 40 views only instead of 700 plus like every yeah. single video and we had 10 videos like that so i haven't uploaded on tiktok for such a long time two months maybe yeah. so i did one the other day scotland is probably like five and a half that's maybe talking about driving to scotland five. 620 yeah, views so there you go we're back up Edinburgh, Mark again. oh we're back on people's pages we're back Stay on people's on yeah because that fucking annoyed me we were smashing it you put a video up a couple of minutes it's got 300 views already i wonder what it is about frigid unless it's friends Unless it's, unless it's advertising brands or I don't know, people just don't like the look of my fridge. Fuck me, my fridge is full. We just got shopping in today, so it's full. But I would show it, but I'd probably upset some people. Maybe yeah, I had a vegan. I had a load of meat in there. Maybe, maybe there's a few vegetarians or a few vegans on there. Oh no, don't upset everybody. Oh mate, yeah. Do you know what I, had? I had for dinner. I had sweet potato and garlic steaks tonight. Badass. What did you have for your birthday dinner? I've did not eaten. I've had a carrot, homemade carrot cake, uh, some Biscoff cheesecake, oh, and that man. is it for, since your, I've been how's, home. How's your body coping with that kind of sugar? Uh, it's my birthday, don't give a fuck. So. It's my birthday. What, are you going gonna, gonna, to have something to eat after this? Yeah, I'm going, after this, I'm going to Tesco to get some bits ready for tomorrow because I'm off for another four days in Scotland oh. again. So Why did you come back? Why don't you just... You have to work. I have to work, mate. I have to get money. Can't do grave digging remotely, can you? No. And we're busy again now. We have five funerals this week. Got seven next week. Fucking hell. We've had months of, like, one in a couple of weeks, and now it's... It's going to get... Once the weather changes, though, surely that's when a lot of... Yeah. Sadly, you know, a lot of people die when it gets colder. I know. Winter fuel. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. That went through. It went to Parliament, didn't it? And it got voted in. All, all the people that voted it should be ashamed of themselves. And I hope their nans refuse to see them anymore. I, do you know what? If that was me, I'd just burn everything. I'd be like, well, fine then. I'm just going to have a shitload of fires. No, we, we just need everybody to look after the old neighbours, your, your nan and granddad or whatever. Just buy you them lots, anyway. lots of natural. Oh, no. No, but even even now, we need to, as a people, we need to stick together. Fuck the government, and then. Do you think? Do you think the term together. "love thy neighbour"? Do you think it's still? Do you think it's still around this day and age? No, I mean, my neighbours that where I'm back living now, they they've been there like fifteen years plus. So we knew we know loads of them. So it is nice to be fair. It's, it's, is it a sugar situation if you needed it? Do people borrow sugar anymore? No, people buy sugar. No, it's normally if you've got my parcel. <laughs> yes, that is it. So we, we've we always done it wherever we've lived. We've always bought gifts for our neighbours. Ever since back when, when it was just even me and my brothers when we lived together, we'd always buy gifts for each neighbour. Just like a bottle of wine or something or chocolate or whatever. Now we're buying them because they take all our parcels in. So now we feel we have to get them something because... You know, technically, they're like they're like the third step in the Hermes drop-off. In fact, they're our Hermes drop-off centre. Although my postman's started making remarks now. He says stuff like, you're the one keeping us in a job. And I feel like he's taking a dig at me there, but I am keeping you in a job by making you deliver my parcels every day. Yeah, five days late. I promise I'll get parcels. We get parcels daily. Oh. Uh daily parcels. And it can be <clears> the smallest <throat> thing. You know what Amazon like? You'll order... I don't know, dishwasher salt or fucking something. A, it just a comes around. Comes yeah. in a big box. <laughs> oh no, I have to do tit runs now. I have to do tit runs with fucking Amazon boxes. That is pretty much, I, I think since COVID, the tip run. Not oh, tip. Runs. Oh, tip. Tip runs. Tip. Yes. I was going to say, that sounds quite a good run. The recycling centre run. The recycle centre. Titty run. <laughs> once I'll do a tit, titty run once a week. And it is once a week I'm doing a tip run. Wow. Anyway, back to you and your birthday. Let's not talk about my shit. I want to talk to Mickey today. Let me ask you a few questions. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What is your 
earliest birthday memory? Red bike, red BMX bike, little one. Red BMX, chopper yeah. or a BMX? No BMX. Everything Stomp was legs. red. The red foam on the straps, the handlebars, the the brakes, the, the tires were red as well. Proper little kiddie Proper red BMX. Little Razzler, little yeah. Razzler BMX. It's and the hand, the handlebars, no, the handlebars were so straight I could go down curbs no handed and it would stay level. Fucking brilliant. BMXs uh, were good back then. BMXs yeah. were the best bikes. Yeah. I feel like if you didn't have a BMX, you had a shit bike. You had a mountain bike. You had a, if you didn't have a BMX, your parents didn't love you. They just wanted you to be safe. You had a yeah. rally bike. A, yeah, a rally bike with a fucking helmet with a light on. <laughs> we had BMXs with no, hel with no helmets and graces yeah. on our elbows. As soon as you get a mountain bike, it's like, oh, you've got to get a helmet. and so, oh, oh, yeah. Mountain bikes are so professional, isn't it? It's so like, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of like a Golf GTI, going from a Golf GTI to a Volvo is, is a BMX or mountain bike. Yeah. You just, it looks, it, it looks all right, but it's just shit. You look cool on a BMX. In fact, you, especially when you could stand up and ride at the same time and then lean one leg in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lean, lean one leg over the middle and stand up. Yeah, you you tilt your bike the other way and you you'd stand up this way. Yeah. Isn't so it funny as well? The faster you got, you were literally slamming it to either side to get it to yeah. go faster. Fuck yeah. I miss my BMX. I'd love to have a BMX again. I wouldn't ride it, but I'd love to have one. <laughs> ride I'm sure every, every time I pedal now, now I see now I'm older, now I appreciate the Volvo. I appreciate the suspension. I appreciate <laughs> the comfort, the height, the fact that my back can sit straight. <laughs> Yeah. I get it. So your your <laughs> earliest memory is getting a BMX. It is. Did you did you did you have many birthday parties growing up? As an no. only because you're an only child. Yeah. Did you have any birthday parties? Uh, was, it just fam was it just family coming over for a few sandwiches and a, a few sandwiches and a caterpillar? I've seen photos of like on the table and you got the your cake with your with the number on. Like back in the day, you used to get packs where you'd have like, I don't know, Thundercats or whatever cartoon show was around and you'd have the number in their style. So I had them with all the candles on. Um, yeah, buffet food, like sausage rolls and all that. But uh, And the cards, cards and presents and that. I don't remember people coming around though. So to be fair, they might have done. Obviously, cause that's why all the food is out probably. I don't know. So it may have been my mum's friend's who had kids come, come around, around or, or maybe one one or two people would come around because they didn't really have a lot of friends sit on the plastic deck chair <laughs> yeah the all-in-one scoop the all-in-one scoop deck chair yeah the the beige and brown ribbed so, um sofas and all that we had a, we had do you know the sofas that have wooden we had a sofa when it was kids that had wooden proper wooden sides you know armrests so yeah. it was like it was like leather it was like green leather but then like had wood and it had like a wood trim around in the armrest <laughs> it was fucking horrible i think back to it i think fuck me what's my mum thinking <laughs> yeah. so do you do you ever recall do you first of all do you like birthdays are you a fan some people don't i hate personally i don't like them it, it, i don't know what it is but i don't like birthdays i don't i don't like physical attention from birthdays like if someone throw me a party i wouldn't go things like that um mm. i expect people i know to wish me happy birthday and that makes me happy mm. but no I, I i don't i don't know does that make me like them i like I do, yeah. the little bits of attention like my boys came around tonight yeah but that's and, that's that's your circle, isn't it? Your circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're basically saying you don't like falseness of people coming out of the woodwork and go, "Oh, Mickey, happy birthday." And yeah, yeah. You, and I spoke to you all year, though. Yeah, so fuck off, cunt. You did, yeah. Yeah. Fuck off, you fat dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bored wanker. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Yeah, but I, because for me, I don't know. I've always been the same around birthdays. Even my mum says it. Same as Christmas and birthdays. She's like, you're always miserable on your birthday 
Like, and it's not it's not intentional, and I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. I just I don't know. I've never. I just as soon as my birthday comes, I just get a bit depressive. A bit arsy. Yeah, just a bit a bit like short tempered. I sort yes. I get like sometimes. Short like I I, I, don't, I don't like birthdays. I don't like attention on me for starters. No. As as, as loud as an idiot I am. I'm an idiot in my own way. I'm not an idiot for. Like, I'm not an idiot for people's attention to laugh or anything. Like, I'm no. just an idiot to me. But yeah, yeah, I mean, is there anything that you always wanted for your birthday? What, what was your biggest desire for a birthday gift? Um, Did you get a choice anyway? Did you get a choice of what you wanted or was it just you got what you were given? It, you have to narrow down the age, I'm, I'm afraid. To, for me to answer that question. Okay. When you wanted to say a Mega Drive. They were more have... Christmassy presents in my head. Okay. Like I would get an Atari or something at Christmas. Oh, so it... were your Christmas presents bigger than your birthday presents? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, okay. Yeah, I think so. From what I remember, yeah. I would say so. Yeah. We were like... bir birthdays were just like the stopgap. Like a football shirt and a yeah, which is which is wrong because birthdays is about you, Christmas is about Santa Everybody. Claus and Jesus yeah. and everyone else. Whereas you know your Everybody birthday, gets yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't understand it, but the Christmas gifts generally are bigger than a birthday present. I think. So you'd get something like you'd probably get an Arsenal shirt and a football for your birthday, or yeah, little things, DVDs or computer game or something. Yeah, I would say nothing. Not that I remember anything major. It's always like the Christmas presents I sort of remember being the more expensive and the bigger gifts. So Okay. Yeah. So the next question going up in age then. Let's talk about your eighteenth. What did you do for your eighteenth? Your first legal night to be an animal. Do you, what did you do? Where were you? Well, I was knees deep. I was <laughs> <The> balls deep. <laughs> no, I, I hadn't had sex at that point. Oh, did you not? No, I was 18, 18 and a half when I had sex. First time. So, late bloomer. Hey, mate. Well, it wasn't late bloomer. It was the fact that I didn't have a girlfriend really. So, yeah. At the time, you you were. I was waiting for the right woman to come along. Yeah. I've always been like someone who was in a relationship. It wasn't just like the odd girl. It was always relationship, end relationship, marriage, end marriage, end like that, rather than 15 rather girls than, or whatever. Rather than a slag. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so what was I doing? I was, I just started working at Kodak doing night shifts. So, I think I was even probably at work, to be fair, or, or playing S S Mario Kart 64 that I just bought on my first wage. So, just <laughs> hence so why I didn't have lots of girlfriends. Because <laughs> you, you weren't putting yourself out there, mate. No, nah, I wasn't interested, the, really. I had my hand in I? Exactly. You had, old, you had old Sally. That was free. <laughs> didn't old cost Sally me nothing. Sid old Sally Sizzler. Sally Six Fingers. Oh, mate. <laughs> Sit on it till it went numb. <laughs> we call a that one the strange, strange, strange yeah. American Pie, yeah. <laughs> call this one the strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Wax on, wax off. Yeah. Spider, playing Spider Man in the corner of your room. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, suck. Oh, so I never got people that did that. Ah, uh, socks. Like, but they they used to go crusty course, and they used to smell weird. Yeah, but surely with that that would be a bit of friction burn as well. If, yeah, that's why you can only do it a few times before you have to wash them or bin them. Oh, mate. I used to use I used to use old socks that I didn't wear anymore. Use them and then, and then I'd bin them. <laughs> Oh, mate. Just your to get rid of her. Get used to them. Your mum knew what was going on with all these odd socks. 
Just chill out what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> Why is this one moist? Why is this one hard? The thing is, if you go back to your day, people still had like proper shaggy carpets back then. Big thick carpets. Mm. So you couldn't you couldn't jizz on the floor, it'd cause a fucking big just just a big matted mess. <laughs> Why'd you jizz on the floor? Sit oh. there in front of the TV in the living room. You ever just and then just wonder where it's gone because <laughs> you've wiped it? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, mate. And then you drink yours. <laughs> a little cup. I've done it. I've done that multiple times, mate. Just fucking lost it. Just lost <laughs> it. Yeah, but that's easy just to wipe then. Just no sock business. Like mm. the old the old sock job. But then you also get fluff in your in your bell end as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, how can we go from this to your birthday? I don't so know. You, you, did you did you have a night out for your twenty first? Twenty first. Where was I? I was working at Telford's then. Um, probably not. No. When was your first I, night I, out? I probably, actually, I, I do remember going town and having house parties. Older in life though, probably in my thirties. Um, well, I'd have house parties. I used to have loads of house parties. All friends, girlfriends, and all that family come round. I used to get fucking smashed, and then Back end in up your get, end Serrano up, days. Yeah, end up going town and that. And time, time and envy, and uh, <clears throat> Chicago's. Uh, what's it? Lava. Lava ignite. Oh my yeah. god! Chicago's was the first phase of Mickey, and Lava was the end. The phase. first phase of the beast unleashed. Yeah. See, I I don't drink anymore i haven't drunk for years the odd the odd cider and bit that of a bit of packer of ban excess <laughs> no invictus invictus oh, i love invictus it's a hundred pound a bottle now Fucking was that round when you were going out invictus yeah uh when i worked at elms i started wearing it because one of the yeah. residents was wearing it and i thought well that smells nice so i bought one then I bought loads. My so. my signature scent was Boss bottle. Do you know the one that's? Do you know the Hugo Boss one? It's got like a bit of an army lid. It's got like a green mm. screw tap on it. That yeah. was my like nostalgic first ever. That that's a man's aftershave sort of thing. It just burns when you spray it. Mine was Diesel, only the Brave, and then the Brave Ooh. Tattoo. And I didn't like the third one they brought out. They probably bought a few, but a few now. But there yeah. was. Do you remember? Did you ever have Diesel Masculine? No. It's in a white bottle, white no. Diesel bottle. No. That you, they've just re-released that. I, I'm going to have to buy it because I can't remember the scent. Yeah, I'm sure it probably smells chavy as hell right now, but I used I, to like it. I wear um, Armani Aqua Di Gio for the last few years now. I like Aqua Di Gio. It's nice. It's fresh. The it's the little bottle. Yeah, the little yeah. see-through round bottle thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome smell. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I well, I mean, I wear an expensive one at the moment, but that's only because it's. If I've had it, I don't. I don't wear it as much anymore, though. I don't wear it every. I used to. Wear, I mean, I wear aftershave daily anyway, but like I used to wear, I used to wear aftershave like it was just like it was part of my routine to put on. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think. Now it's just like a. I don't know, I like smelling good. I think I appreciate smelling good. And fuck me, yeah. I'm getting older. I did notice, because I, I don't wear aftershave to the cemetery when I go work. I, I just use deodorant and that's it. Don't, you, don't even spray my clothes or anything. So when we have a funeral, and obviously everybody's doled up, normally anyway, uh, when the wind blows, you can smell the perfumes and the aftershaves really strong. It's like, oh, that's quite nice. And like, we... Oh, we we smell of mud and fucking grave juice and dirt and oh, sweat. Juice. Oh, grave and, juice. Does it? Uh, and they smell really nice. And so, uh. Side question. Does, death, does it smell? Does it, does, does, is, there, is there a smell of death? Yes. Body juice, yeah. Is it? It's, it smells like gassy sewage. Okay. So it's not like nothing you've ever smelled. It basically just smells of fucking bad smell the worst like methane like out of out of your cooker 
mm. mixed mixed with rotten flesh. everything rotten shit flesh everything mixed together yeah and if you get obviously if you if you dig too deep you hit the coffin you can tell because the soils when you're digging soil out it goes black when you're getting near the coffin where all the juices and the coffin's rotten and that. De yeah it depends on how how old the, the coffin is it's in the ground already if it's a reopener anyway yeah and sometimes it obviously if it's raining or sometimes the drainage the ground, yeah, yeah. yeah you get black water in there and it is not nice at all it is it's fucking awful first time i so smelled it i thought oh because everyone kept talking about it and i thought okay and i said oh it's black black stuff in there and i went oh and you could sometimes some of them are bad you can smell them if you walk away from the grave you can still smell them does it ever it's, freak you out no. i mean it doesn't doesn't freak you out because that's your you it's my job yeah i mean that's that's just you all over i mean, honestly i could never never put you in another job other than what you're doing now <laughs> no like it's like you found your calling you know like some people find priesthood yeah. you found oh. you found the graveyard <laughs> you found like you know when they say you should never mix business and pleasure you do that <laughs> I, I don't i do not go into no, my but, cemetery and do that thank you no but i'm talking i know, I know what you're saying yeah. Yeah. but what i'm saying is you found your your world has collided with work you yeah. know what i mean yeah. like but yeah, right. So your birthday, twenty first. You were still at home, still playing the same game, still hadn't completed it, still have not gone a night out, and you had no socks left at this point. <laughs> no, I go around, in... go around sockless. Twenty one. So that would have been two fat. Two thousand. I I was in a relationship at that point with my future first wife oh. so the socks were not needed old henry the eighth <laughs> <laughs> once die once head once beheaded <laughs> yeah Oh, um, God. Yeah, Tell so two, 2001, I was in a relationship, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what the fucking P-I-M-P. <laughs> so oh. much you heard about me. <laughs> oh, mate. Yes, yeah, so 2001. Yeah. 2001. Fuck no, me. no, 21. I was 21, you said. You're what did I say? 2001. Yeah, I was still in relationships, so yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so... Yeah, I used to have a lot of house parties then. So, yeah, partying at home, really, rather than going out. Because yeah. I had a house, near enough. But we had place, friends' houses and that to go to. So we'd have... We'd just have, like, barbecues and and drink for like a few hours in the evening yeah in the summer and that have gazebos up and yeah that shit yeah yeah oh mate you, your gazebo was like a tradition wasn't it for a long time that you every year yeah because i used to year. break it leave it up too long and end up in the neighbor's garden it's like fuck's sake another hundred pounds to buy another new one another windy night comes along and you're making buying another one yeah so okay so obviously you're now older now, much older to say the least. Yeah. 40, 40 fucking five. Any regrets? No. You've, do you just think of it as one continuous journey and you've just, you've lived? I don't regret anything in life or well, two things, but I don't talk about them. No, um, no, no, of course. I don't regret anything because I am happy as a person where you in are what now. i'm in what i'm doing with my relationships with people so yes i am and if it wasn't for the things i've been through i wouldn't be in the position i'm in now no so, of course not so yeah. and you've you know i think you can say you've fucking you've had one hell of a ride right you've done some awesome shit mm. 
like you've yeah. you've been with the greats you've mixed with the celebs yeah you know been on telly worked on telly yeah looked after shot disabled shot, people shot a porno in 84 <laughs> yeah i was five Nile. yes <laughs> fucking jeffrey i told you jeffrey Jim, not to, you Jeff, you and you jeffrey. and fix it <laughs> no it was jeffrey at that time Mr. Um, Epstein. So you've got no regrets, which is always good Doesn't because really. that's, you know, what about your future? Have you got any ambitions or things that you would like to follow through to old, older age? No. Uh, have you got anything you want to do? No. You just, you just take it as it comes. Yeah, that's, that's who you are. You just deal with it as it comes. And... I don't really plan stuff. I like, there's things that I, the opportunities I would like to do. I would like to visit more places and create memories. That's what I want to do. Create memories of people going places. And rather than having all the money in the world and just sitting at home, because what have you got to tell people? Oh, I've got loads of money, but what do you do? Oh, I don't do nothing. I oh, could. I'd rather be... Pretty much a lot of people. Yeah. I'd rather be paycheck to paycheck going out when I can to places. Living living that, life and yeah yeah i mean last week i was camping on an island in scotland in the middle of the sea um uh, fucking listening to an a fucking elephant snoring next to the fucking tent so i mean what else do you want <laughs> you know fucking hell literally not natural people <laughs> yeah mark fucking hell you snore like a fucking elephant's having sex with itself fucking hell and then, and then at 5 a.m., you'd have the fucking, yeah, because we didn't go to bed till 4. So at 5 a.m., the fucking plane started leaving Edinburgh Airport, flying oh, right man. over. So they were fucking loud as well. It's that fucking hard joke. Were you just cold, damp, and miserable by the time it finished? I went cold. Uh, but we'll talk about, about that trip on another episode. Yeah, cool. So, um, but yeah. Adventure. See, that's what we want. You you live you live your life don't you and i think i think that's only i don't know i think as you get older you realize that nothing and we've said this time and time again is nothing nothing you can buy will make you happy well, right you know they can make you happy i mean i'm sure you'd love a car that has no car issues whatsoever for the rest of its life you know mm. i'm sure you would wish never to go you know never to go to like you know another audi garage or fucking need a fucking bull joint for the back of your axle or some shit yeah yeah that would be nice to be fair but you've 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 enjoyed your journey which is good yeah what is yeah. what's one goal for this year let's i would like to have one goal out of you that you would like to achieve for the age of 45 to 46 oh um Could be small or big. I don't know. I'd like I'd like for this podcast and my podcast to grow, grow bigger. To, to, to speak to, speak to more people, have more guests. Yeah. Oh yeah. I miss guests. I miss yeah. having a guest on we could just pick their brains and yeah get some questions out i mean you yeah, your your successful show has a guest every week that's what there not is me though. Guest. yeah no, not, not me though people he's not having me on there so you know no. boycott on his show i blocked him on our yeah. socials and that's who blocked me cheers <laughs> <laughs> I'm, report I'm reporting all your shit mate <laughs> he's racist no he's not <laughs> i'm just reporting it that's porn yeah it. <laughs> so you're going to go Tesco. You're, you're going to get some food bits for tomorrow. I might get some fucking dinner, to be fair, because it's like nine hey, o'clock. Why, why don't you get yourself a kebab? Treat I'm not, yourself. I'm not sure if that's... Oh, I don't go on a kebab this time. No, because last weekend, I was fucking... I, I came home Sunday evening, yeah? Monday. How many shits did I have Monday? Six. More. 
Fuck off. Seven, eight. More. Ten. Yeah. Ten shits in a day. Yeah, and on the Sunday, I had three in the ho three. <laughs> I had two somewhere that <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. Uh, then I had one at the services, and then I had three more when I got home before oh, I went mate. bed. Because I've been eating shit fucking McDonald's, Burger King. The only the only food I had was the Saturday after evening before we went to the island and I had mac and cheese and garlic bread in a pub. All the other things were service stations because we were driving for so long. Shit food. Yeah, McDonald's breakfast, McDonald's services, you know. In it brother, they sell that food they sell that kind of food on motorways. And I know it's fast and it needs to be quick and you've got to get back on the road. And expensive. But they should <laughs> and expensive. But why do they not sell food that's slow on your digestive system? Oh, not no. so harsh on it. There is nothing worse. I mean, personally, I would never have a KFC on a motorway. If I had a KFC on a motorway, I, I wouldn't get to the next junction before I not, needed a shit. Not chicken, anyway. No. Oh, fuck me. KFC for me is that. KFC is my never. I, I like KFC. I like the chicken. I love the skin. Love it. However, if I'm, out, if I'm having a KFC, it has to be at home. And I have to go, well, you're going to eat this. And you know, soon, by the end of this evening, you're going to be on the toilet three or four times easy mm. i've never had a kfc where i've not had the shits no but on that note people the shits yeah, <laughs> yeah. no more savlon it's so nice not putting savlon on your arsehole anymore oh. but hey, hey. Oh, it's mate, fucking it's sore crazy. after 16 in in the two days <laughs> 16 shits that's yeah. not normal i mean i think my, I I think my record my record is when i had You've had a gastro bug, haven't you? Gastroenteritis. No, no touch wood. No. I, I had, I had, forty-eight hours of pure gastro, and anything, anything that touched my lips, water, even. Oh, I've had something like that. Yeah, I had it for three days, and every time I and drunk, my belly pain, and then I was straight in the toilet. How many times did I shit myself running from the my bedroom yeah, yeah, yeah. to the toilet? So it's many bad. times. Yeah. I, I I must have lost. This is back. I mean, this is back when I didn't even need to lose weight. This is back when I, I think I was fucking seventeen when I, this happened. But I remember just I remember being able to touch my ribs on the inside. Now I mean I can touch my ribs, but I can't get underneath them anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I lost a stone in in four days because I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat every time I put anything in my mouth, like toast, water coffee yeah. straight out straight out run and i remember just being in cramped pain in bed yeah. like keeled over trying to watch telly but at the same time i remember i just had to strip my bed and just basically lie on the sheet because i was just like i was either puking or i was fucking going Shitting. for a shit and i remember i remember it was the first i remember i had an ensuite shower room and it was just a wet room it wasn't it just had a toilet a glass sink on the wall and then like a rainfall shower thing Mm -hmm. and i remember thinking this is why people have on sweets <laughs> like <laughs> just standing there all day shitting and puking it, it. but i the, the funny thing was is i could sit on the toilet because it was that it was tiny this the uh, shower room is probably no bigger than the space i'm in now so i could stand on the toilet i could sit on the toilet and the rainfall rainfall showers there and i remember just switching on and sitting there Oh, wow that'd be amazing but then again don't let it fill up too much because all this shit will come up to the toilet no, because I just fucking sit there. I just sit there and uh, just be so so upset and fucking. That's my thing, isn't it? As soon as I puke, all my tears come out. All the tears I've been holding back all my life. You ever want? You ever want Niall to um fucking cry? Get him, get him sick. Sorry. Oh, fucking God. That's what old people do. Well, listen, guys. On that note, thank you for joining another episode of Dads, Lads, and Kebabs. Birthday. Great ha happy birthday to good friend Mickey York, a oh, classic yeah. age of 45. Yo. And many, many happy returns. And guys, we'll see you on the next show where we're discussing the adventure. Deuces. And fuck off. Oh, wait there.
<gasps> yeah, got to change the bit at the bottom. Yeah, eventual number one because number two starts tomorrow. Same place, but.